Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome back to the tutorial for how to make a multiplayer first-person shooter in Unity 3D. It's been quite some time since the last episode, so a couple of things we need to update ourselves. First of all, we are on episode 14. There should be a link down below where you can download this exact version of my setup for episode 14. I'm going to call it episode 14 start, just in case anyone is is sort of out of sync with how things have gone. Um, we uh, You can make sure you have exactly the same project file as I do as we move forward here. So what has changed? First of all, I am on a new version of Unity probably since the last time, I suspect. Version 4.3.4 F1 is what I'm currently operating on. If ever you run into any program errors and, and glitches and weirdness like that, despite having literally exactly the same code that I have, make sure you're running exactly the same version of Unity as I am. If you are running the same version of Unity and you're still getting errors in your code, it means you don't have the exact same code as I do. Double check your spelling, your, your um, capitalization, that sort of thing. There, Usually you don't need the exact same version, but every now and again you will get an issue, especially with a code that uses the sort of a, a template stuff, anything with like angle brackets. Um, will uh, will sometimes cause some issues because a uh, different version of C Sharp or Mono or the Unity libraries or whatever will have different supports for templated code. Uh, the other thing is, um, even we were noticing it later on in our uh, in our trials. Every now and again, I would hit play and the game would sort of stall out. Um, when jumping into, or actually not even when jumping into the multiplayer, but just when starting things. What I've done is I've gone ahead and. Uh, grab the latest version of the Photon Unity networking library. I just deleted this folder, re-imported it from the asset store, and that seems to have cleared up a lot of issues. So clearly a few little fixes and changes there. And all in all, things are running much, much smoother. Now I have gone into Mono Develop and into our, oh, I don't have it open, the Network Manager script over here. And I've gone and bumped the version number of our code from uh, 001 to 002, just to make sure that when we join the server at this point, we will be joining our own uh, instance version of the server with a bit of newer stuff that's going to involve all the things that we're going to deal with in the next few episodes. Uh, what was really cool, actually, is when I... Um, when I was going through this and just making sure that everything was working properly and I joined the multiplayer, there was actually someone else on the server playing around. And like that was, I thought that was really, really cool that uh, there's so many people interested in this. I started the Unity tutorial um, channel as just a little bit of a side thing to distract myself from my main YouTube channel. And this one uh, has grown dramatically. It's about a fifth the size of my main channel and that is not small potatoes. And especially the uh, multiplayer first person shooter seems to be a big deal. So anyway, uh, sorry, enough babbling about that. Let's go into it. So looking at my, my sort of to-do list uh, that I had promised here for um, this tutorial, right? So I've got the current features over here. This is on the Unity Tutorials website that I have uh, where you can download the code. And then we have the coming soon. So what we're going to do in uh, this video and the next couple is actually I'm going to focus on some of the stuff that's a little bit later on. We're going to do a little bit of sounds and a little bit of effects here because it bothers me still that, oh, that's the other change I did. I took out the crate, um, the little box that I had to test the shooting because it was never really done quite properly for the uh, the server. So there's there's part of the reason that you're getting uh, occasionally maybe some synchronization weirdness when other people join, you try to shoot it and it wouldn't necessarily work properly. Uh, so we'll, we'll re-examine that soon. But right now the shooting sort of works. I can click and I get a note in the console that tells me what I hit. You know, we hit building is what happened there. And if I go down, we hit ground. Um, and things can take damage and die, but obviously there's no real indicator that anything is is happening uh, there. So what I want to do is make it a little bit more visible that we're actually shooting stuff and uh, get a little bit of feedback going on there. The next thing we're going to probably do is throw in a little bit of health and armor pickups because they're relatively easy to do and that'll be fun to add in. And what we this allows us to do is re-examine the idea of, um, of uh, objects in the game, right? Other than the player and how we sort of spawn them and do that. Since we have, I, I did take out the crate because it was done, you know, a, it was a static object that was placed in the level, which is not ideally the way that you would synchronize things. So we'll, we'll re-examine those things. And then the third thing that I want to do at that point is sort of examine the game modes. It's not exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I want to have a better sort of lobby system for when you connect to the game. I want it to show you which players are in the game. We'll have maybe a little sort of user interface for that so we can bring up sort of a scoreboard. And I want to have teams 
Um, so basically, we're going to enable sort of a team deathmatch mode first. Because right now, right now we just have deathmatch. You can just shoot anyone there is. Uh, we also need to include uh, respawning. So we'll look at that at some point. But first thing I want to do is look at the sort of visual effects. We'll throw in a little bit of a sound effect when we shoot, and a little bit of a visual effect so we can see the trail of the bullet. Because right now we're using a sort of a sniper rifle-y kind of a weapon, right? This guy here, I, I'm pretty sure is the way that our weapon is implemented right now. If we go down to player stuff, and we take a look at our weapon code, which is just very generic right now. I guess it's part of the... Um, uh, is it network character or the player shooting script right over here right so we got a fire rate of every half second we fire and it does a certain amount of damage and it fires off in mostly a straight line obviously we don't have real weapons implemented quite yet but we're going to keep developing this as if it were a uh, sort of a rifle sniper rifle anyway that is it for the update so uh, I'm actually going to put a cut in here just this is the, just the update video and then in the next video we're going to actually look at um, I'm going to make this so that you can see the bullet travel and also a little bit of a sound effect just to make it slightly more interesting and we'll have that synchronize over the server so that technically people could jump in and shoot each other in a somewhat more convincing fashion um, and then we might also have to work in the respawning so uh, see you guys next time bye bye